Let's get it, man. Let's go. Welcome back. Chuck's Daily Hustle. You know what it is, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share. Most definitely, most definitely follow me on all the social media platforms. I got the links in the description below. And so all the new people, the old people, and the future people to go ahead and watch this video, man. And when you subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you can stay up to date with what I got going on. So you read the thumbnail. We are on our way right now to a Desa Auto Auction, man. So we're going to a car dealer only auction, and I'm getting ready to get y'all some access and show y'all what i do on a day-to-day -day basis let's get it all right man we are here let's see what we can find Got a 2008 forerunner 2012 200 just gotta find some cars that are in the budget windy out here y'all so i hope y'all can hear me that's i don't know what type of lift that is nice leather interior in that joint this might be a lick 07 y'all see if the mileage is on here 150 oh that's that's gonna cause a grip we're gonna get away from the people car <laughs> all cobalt all day let's go y'all know i want that i was looking for this last week man they didn't have it Tires look good. So they switched the uh, the lanes around now, y'all. So they got the A's up front. So now I ain't gonna be able to find my licks back there because you know, everybody was being lazy and didn't want to drive back there. But now it's up front, so that might have changed the game up for me. But we'll see. Oh, it needs a window back here. I think. Oh, no, the door won't shut. Won't stay shut. Let me see. Oh, so they got the saran wrap on there. Interior is pretty cool. Let's start it up. Need to jump. Let me jump this joint, y'all. So as y'all can see, this thing will not start, y'all. So I got the yellow jump pack on it, their jump pack, and I already tried mine. So we gotta move on to the next one. Unfortunately, I would mess with this Magnum, but um, I don't like them, and it's gonna be winter. So let's try to find it something. Man. I hope y'all can hear me, man. It's super windy out here. Looking, got a Magnum. I mean, a, a Charger and a Grand Prix. I'm gonna rock with this Grand Prix. It's front wheel drive. That Magnum's got a low miles on it. Yeah, it's got 132. It's a D-line car. I don't know why those armrests always get. Ew, it smell like Similac in here, y'all. Yeah. Right, let me see. Got an aftermarket CD player. Got the brake light on. Got the skid control and all that. Look at that interior, y'all. The mirror is missing. This thing continuously is blinking. I'm gonna change oil, all that. Yeah, I don't know. Let's pop the hood. Let's see what's up under there. Check this back. Do a walk around on that joint. Throw this. Jump back up in the inside, y'all. I'm out here pretty early today, y'all. I'm like the fifth person here. Yeah, that interior is gonna need a nice little cleaning. Them tabs is good. With the dual exhaust. It's factory, though. Oh, they got a mirror back there, but that ain't no good. Yeah, this is cool. Ain't too bad, got a little rush right there. A little scrape get that mirror got some rust right here in the hood too bumpers cracked got that 3800 series 2 in that joint look to be good under here let's see let's throw this one on the road man hopefully these brakes ain't all messed up as y'all can see i'm in my hoodie and it's beyond cold i bet you my head look mad down right now but man, it's cold out here, man. I don't be looking forward to this, man. This will be making me wanna 
move up out of the uh, the state, man. Every single winter, man, nonstop. But let's see what all that we just passed though. See, they don't even got no cars getting checked in right now, y'all. Y'all know usually there be a whole bunch of cars right there. They probably maybe they moved a little bit faster this week. I don't know. Let's get this thing checked out real quick. Right. All right. All right. All right. Let's get it. Look both ways when you're getting on the street. Let's see, Let's get this thing dry. 130,000 miles. Okay. 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 Oh, look at that. I'm up to like 70 or 65 right now. Let's test on these brakes real quick. Make sure that we don't want to come in traffic. The stop sign. We don't want those problems. Hey, this drive pretty good, man. Real good, if you ask me. Uh, obviously, where the church is going around, though. I didn't check all the electronics, but I'll do that when I get back. I'm going to try to touch as many cars as I can on this video with y'all today. So that way, y'all can, uh, you know, see them all, man. Let's try to do that today with y'all. So I'm going to do this video a little different. Less talking, more walking. This joker on the list, man. Hopefully, we can grab this. Let's see what else is over here? Got a little outback, uh, it's got 150 on it. We got that new stuff back there. Behind the pilot with a whole bunch of miles on it. 257. Wonder who the seller. Amber Grove Honda. I'm a, why not, man? I've been passing these up for a while, y'all. I've been tripping, actually. Maybe not. I oh, don't know. Anyways, leather interior on this joint. Actually, it's well kept. Let's see if it starts up. Let's see if it starts up, y'all. Nope, needs a jump. Everything on this damn lot be needing a jump, y'all. Be getting on my nerves. I'm gonna lie to you. It got hit right there a little bit. A little scrape on the joint. Toll ball. Them tires is decent though, y'all. Tires are real decent. It's cool. Look at the back. It's a little cleaner in here. It's all good though. I should have popped that hood while we was over there. So I could jump. We got her started up. Seemed like she was okay. Got a little oil leak over there. Hit the gas a little bit on this one. Y'all yeah, don't hear nothing. This thing got 267. I thought it was 250. This would be an official, like, the most I've ever, most miles I ever bought on a car if I buy this joint. All right, all that stuff works. All right, let's throw this on the road. I hear some whining. Y'all hear that? Yeah, let's let's figure it out. I can still hear that little whining. It's all good though. Let's see what she doing on the road. Okay. Not bad, y'all. The brakes seem to be good too. Suspension seems to be all right. Yeah. This seems to be cool, y'all. Just with 267,000 miles. I really wonder how much this thing is going to go for, though, y'all. This might go for a grip. But I put it on the list. I mean, it's sturdy. It's a Honda. has got high miles, but hopefully somebody will buy it. Hopefully I can get it for like a real, real good price. Then it's a no brainer, but who knows? Let's see. 
Oh, this joint got heated leather this season. Old back just got hot on him. Yeah, it's cool. I'm gonna put this on the list and then let's move on to the next one. This could be a good one, y'all. It's a 06 Grand Marquise. Got 173, so the miles are good. I know it's a rear-wheel drive car, but I've always had luck with these, man. People people that have Marquises know that they're reliable and sturdy. Uh, oh, that's about sturdy. Look at this. Y'all hear that motor? That sounds horrible. This one. To the next avalanche over here, y'all. 167.04. Let's see who the seller off. Tire flat. We're gonna have to come back for that joint. Got an Altima. I don't rock with those. It's a 12 Let's see what's over here. Let's see if I like anything I see. Trucks, Tahoe and the Yukon. See how many miles over here. This got 330? Yeah, 330,000 miles on it. This one's got, I think I saw this one. This one's not even reading the miles. I'm gonna mess with the one that's not reading the miles. The Yukon. Let's see. Probably don't start. Let's see. Look at that. Look at that. This thing be up. It's like a damn dog was up in here. See them seats? This one of them ones you bought for the dirt, dirt, selling for the dirt, dirt. Started up. Oh man, look at this. This thing got me moving all the way up. That's a trap. <laughs> look at that, man. It's like a little as hell in this car. Oh, I can't even move the seat back, y'all. That's not gonna work. I can't drive it. So I can't drive this car. It's too bad. Look at that, man. I don't know if y'all can see that. I can't drive that. It ain't that small. So I guess we're going to drive this 330,000 mile Chevy uh, Tahoe. Hopefully, this thing drive good. This one dirty too. Look at this. Oh, dope. They tripping. I get a boy copyright. All right. This thing dirty too. It ain't that bad though. It's missing. Oh, it's got the third row. Let's double check. Make sure that other seat back there too. Okay, it's got the whole third row. So that's cool. I saw the brake light flashing on this one. Show y'all real quick. Notice up in here. Brake lights flashing. Then they got a windshield that's cracked. And like I said, it's dirty, so it's gonna need a detail. The seats are worn, but it's cool. Let's start this one on the road, see what happens. This dang bright light is just getting on my nerves, man. Hopefully it's not too distracting for y'all. The brakes is bad, for sure. I feel that, so we ain't gonna drive it crazy. Uh, it needs a transmission, so I'm gonna turn this joint right around. I felt that right away, y'all. Uh. Look, Sky, huh? What year is this thing? It's 08. It's got some 173. That's decent miles, y'all. This could be something for me. Yeah. I think we're gonna drive this one, too. Let's see what they got on. Check engine lights on. I gotta check that out, too. Serious cool. This is a pretty clean car. The outside wasn't like immaculate. As you can see it's been repaired. The tires are shot. In the back, see how the front look. The front is kind of shot too. Let's see if we can get a full. Yeah. The body's a little beat up. That motor <laughs> and that kid, they got some junk running today, y'all. Gotta be careful. All right, let me uh throw this on the road and then check this check engine light so I don't bore y'all to death.
So I am gonna bore y'all with these codes. So one code I got was the P0607, which means that uh, the car's having trouble communicating with the uh, uh, basically control module, all right? So um, this is an O2 sensor code and then the ignition coil. So the only thing that scares me a little bit is the fact that it's not communicating with the control module, which means that it might need a new computer. Um, or it could be something else. So at the end of the day, I'm not gonna rock with this car because I'm not finna be dealing with no, uh, putting in no, uh, you know, fuse boxes or anything like that. I mean, a fuse box would be simple, but if it needs a computer, if it needs to be programmed, which I doubt it, it shouldn't need to, but at the same time, I just, right now, the way the mechanics been working, it's like, I don't wanna even play around with it. So we're gonna keep it to real short and simple, easy cut stuff, you know what I'm saying? So let's move on to the next one. Look at the little Back to the Future car. <laughs> it's a Honda. I never even seen one of them before. I wonder how much these is worth. A Honda Insight. What the heck? Bet you ain't nobody got one of these. It's a five speed joint, too. It's just interesting, man. You gotta be a car head to like just be liking cars. As you see, especially this little ugly little thing, man. This is this so ugly, it's kinda cute. Y'all mama ever told y'all that? Like, you're so ugly, you're kind of cute. That's how that, that's how that made me feel right there. Let's see what they got over here, though. Got a Ford Taurus. I hate those with a passion, but I kind of love them. It's a bittersweet. Hate-love relationship, I guess. They got a Honda Pilot over here. Oh, I saw this online. A little beat-up STS. I might have to rock with that. But let's uh, mess with this Pilot. Might as well since I drove the one with the 270. Let's see how this is. They got a lot of cars out here today. Okay. RPM just went high. Power steering wine. All right. Well, let's throw this on the road real quick. I'll test the electronics. Like I said, I'm trying to move these cars with y'all today. Man, let's do it. See what we got. Somebody left a 300. Uh, it must, oh uh, yeah, that's from here. It most definitely must have problems. It's been sitting there. This car, oh, it's, I don't know what's wrong with this thing. I think the training's bad. Cause I don't feel it shifting. Yeah, it's gotta be. Because if the other one was shifting, you can feel it shifting, and this one you don't, and then it's kind of hesitating. The training must be bad. I haven't had too many. Well, I haven't even had one of these actually. My boy has, but so this is like my first time driving one. This is the second one actually. But comparing the two, this one drives way. This drives horrible. You see that the two, the one with two seventy drives better than this one. This one got 50,000 50, less miles, y'all. Can't even speak. But. Yeah, let's move on to the next one. Let's see how many miles on this Cadillac. Oh, it's got 106. Never mind. <laughs> Get away from the people's car, man. Let's see. I like this Ion. Man, these be going so high, though. Oh, it's a five speed. Never mind, y'all. Uh, I mean, I get a little seasick. Look, they got an Outback, though. Oh, Outback, man. Let's see if this thing start up. I like these little outbacks. Country. Hear a little yeah, lift and tap. Oh, that smoke. Y'all see that smoke? Stay away from that. All you do is smell it. Fumes. Oh, look at that, y'all. I don't know if you can see all that. That's horrible. Oh, replay. Y'all ain't know I can speak Spanish, huh? Nah, I speak. <laughs> I can speak a little bit. They got a little Buick Rendezvous, man. As y'all know, I already got one of these. But this one got high miles, so it might go for the Disney. Third row in that joint. I think this is CXL like mine. So I wonder if it's all-wheel drive. The one I got, oh, I'm, and y'all, I made a mistake. So the one I got is not all-wheel drive. The VIN number broke it down wrong. It uh, doesn't got a gearbox, man. So it's front-wheel drive, so I got to bring the price down. CXL. This one's a front wheel drive too, it looks like. I'm gonna let this one run though. 
because it's got obviously it's got well i don't know if it's got the 3400 let's see if it's got the 34 or the uh i forgot what other size motor comes in this year i'm gonna let it run and make sure it don't overheat y'all Oh, it's 35. 35? Let's get it. Dry this right now. We ain't gotta let that heat up. We gotta let that one heat up, baby. Right, I'ma see you on the road. Yes, man, this thing kinda was losing power a little bit. It's got that anti-lock. Oh, this probably got the same issue that mine's had, y'all. With the whole power thing. Remember it had the anti-lock, the track off all that the service the abs and all that so we might hey this might be a little lick man dry this real quick this is why I, you learn from your mistakes you know what i'm saying or learn from your uh your lessons you know what i mean then you don't be so scared the next time all right yeah so now they changed it where they they bring in the cars right there so they check it straight from outside of the gate instead of being over there. So if y'all new to the videos, y'all ain't know what I'm talking about. But if you are, um, if you've been here, then you know what I'm talking about. So obviously if you're new, you need to go check out the other videos with the Odessa dealer car auction, walk arounds, the car dealer only auction rounds, auction walk arounds and all that good stuff. Mannheim, most definitely check out Mannheim. They got way more cars out than here. Let's see how she drive. Well, this, this one still got its power though. Transmission shifting good. We got 50. Got the wood grain on the steering wheel. You know what I'm saying? That's how a lot of y'all was made, if you didn't know. Because your daddy had wood grain on, in the car, all right? That's how you got your mama. No. Let's see. Try this joint. Put this up down one more time. And then we'll be straight. This is actually a decent car, y'all. I was not expecting this coming out of this cellar, man. Y'all know I, I don't be trying to badmouth this, this seller all the time, but I do at the same time because they didn't got over on me so many times. And this is supposed to be a big seller. Let's see. I think I'm going to try to grab this one, man. I think this is going to go for the dirt, too. Look at that interior, y'all. I can't really navigate y'all the way I want to. Look at that. It got the sunroof too. I don't know if I showed y'all that. Y'all know mine's ain't got the sunroof. This is actually, man, this is real clean, man. And y'all know I had to detail my car for it to even come out to look like this. So this is pretty cool. It's already ready to go. You know what I mean? But anyways, we gonna grab this one tomorrow and then I guess we moving on to the next car. Let's get it. This is the Cadillac that I saw online, y'all. This is the one I think might go for the dirt. 179 on it. I think this joint's all wheel drive too. Obviously that bumper's messed up, so we're gonna need a whole new bumper. And obviously we can't find the same color, we're gonna need to get it painted. So start it up. Start it up a little. Nah. Lights on. I don't know about what well, that's got a it got a it got a mass airflow problem for sure. I can hear it. Let me cut this off. I don't know. Let me see. Nah, I can smell the fumes. You gotta, man, you gotta follow your first gut, your first mind. Um, I know I said that all wrong, huh? The first gut, no. You gotta fo follow your uh, your gut instincts when it comes to these cars, and then you gotta follow your first mind, man. Yeah, I'm good. Y'all you you see my face. When I make that stink face, that means it's a POS, right? So, I got a little, I, I mean, a little Saturn right there. That might little be a little lit. Let me see. Got a Toyota over here with 225. This might be a little lick too, with the wheel caps missing. They got the maximum back there. Let me uh, let me mess with this uh, this '92 joint real quick. Hopefully, it's not a five speed. It's not. I'm messing with this because it looks so clean. This thing clean. Yeah, I bet you this car run forever. Hey. Y'all know I'm happy that I sold my uh my 15 Impala too. I know y'all know I'm happy about that. I just thought I should bring that up just because I know that was off the wall, but whatever. <laughs> All right, so it started up. I hear a little serpentine bell joint. Ugh. 
throw this up here. Oh man. Draw it. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Got a little uh, power steering one. We'll actually just make sure it's a power steering one before we even waste our time. Yeah, it's a power steering one. I saw them bringing a whole bunch of cars in. They got a, they just brought that fusion up. Oh, they just brought some cars back here too. Oh, this made me think about my my dang Pathfinder I gotta sell. Shit. They got an Audi Q7 right there, y'all. Make sure we don't miss nothing, man. I'm trying to make some money, y'all. Probably gonna get like three, four more cars. Looks like car sales is trying to starting to slow down a little bit, so I don't know. But uh, let's get this one on the road. Look, y'all, it's got a lap belt. Like, it's missing. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Oh no, that don't work. Oh, look at that, y'all. Stupid old school. Look, you to pull pull the, the the thing up, and then you go. Let me see if I can get that for y'all. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this, but we don't have to, cause. There we go. All right. Back to the future, boy. Let's go. That's a nice suburban right there. Let's see how she drive. Nope. Nope. Training bag. This is why we drive because we don't want to be this guy right here. these guys right here man we don't want to be these guys in the lot man when you buy a dud you either on the side of the road if you're trying to bring it home or you're gonna leave this in the auction in the auction parking lot man I'm telling you right now been there done that big facts corolla time man but check this out man 225 on it let's see man i don't know why they got these stupid old phones out man they coming out with all types of stuff in this car i mean this option but whatever tires is okay let's see what the interior look like i didn't even all right it's a little dirty look like somebody basically used this as a beater smell good though put this uh, heat on got the check engine light on airbag lights I know everybody like went off. It's probably something stupid on the check engine light. We're gonna check that too. Of course. Make sure everything copacetic with that. Waiting on her to load up. See what's going on with her. Let's see. Oh shift solenoid. Needs a solenoid in a transmission, so we good with that. Gotta leave her alone. We thought we had one, but we don't. On to the maximum, man. On to the maximum. Let's see. I got here in a good time today, too, man. It's got 178, so I'm not rushing today, y'all. So we straight. Got some time to look at it. Man, if you haven't already, man, make sure you click that subscribe button and then um, hit that notification bell, man. I'm trying to get these subscribers up um, because I want to go live at the auctions with y'all, man. That way I can kind of show y'all kind of how everything goes, you know, all the interactions. I'm not going to be able to edit out a live video, y'all, so you can get way more game for free. As much game as I didn't give y'all for free. You know? Oh, look. See, look, man, I'm telling, be telling y'all. Y'all see all them bobcaps is gone from last week. All of them are gone. It's crazy, man. Get you a dealer's license. It'd be, it's got to be the limit. Let me jump this joint off real quick. Yeah, it's got the uh, brake light, ABS light on like the other one. Interior is really good though, y'all. Really nice and clean. Um, it smells awesome. Like for real, for real. Like it don't need no detail or nothing. So whoever had this, feel like they took care of it. So got the sunroof in that joint. And you know these come with, I think they come with the bowl system if I'm not mistaken. But uh, might as well see what it need. Well, I got y'all big, big old pothole, but uh, demolish that rim. Yeah, so it seems to be cool, man. The heat working, the AC was working. They got some, oh, look at that little GTI over there. 
Volkswagen in the game. I might come back and rock with that. Got to just, I think they just pulled that caravan out the new one. But yeah, man. Hey, man, comment below, man. Let me know how y'all liking the um, auction walk around videos. And actually, man, let me know what y'all think is like the best uh, type of videos that y'all like coming from me. Like, is it the is it the auction walk arounds or is it uh, the vlogs or what? Do you like them both? Let me know. Dude almost just smashed into me back there. Get up out of here real quick. All right. We're about to get going, man. Now these now these uh Maximus man, these is fast, y'all. These are some cool cars. Some real cool cars. Uh, my brother's not out here today, man. He usually beats me out here. I'm surprised. Look, they got more cars coming. See that? Nah, stop today, man. They got a little 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 something coming on. But a lot of them was garbage, as y'all can see. I don't know how much I just drove. I think I only got two or three on my list right now. See, it's power. Big power, y'all. Oh, look, the, the speedometer doesn't work. But, I mean, the engine and the train doing what it's got to do. You know what I'm saying? The suspension's good. Engine's good. Seems to be cool. It's on E, though. Hopefully, I don't run out of gas down here. That's happened to me before. But, it's yeah, it's driving cool, y'all. Man. Well, it's shaking a little bit at speed, so it might need, like, a bounce to rotate. The tires look like they was pretty decent. I don't know. Do a UE real quick. Let's see. I want to go outside of that road. I'm gonna get, get back. <laughs> My dad, man, he got uh, he got stuck in the uh, in a damn Subaru down there. Not down that side, on the other side where I always do the U-turn at y'all. He got stuck all the way down. There. I'm gonna show y'all probably on my next video, man, uh, where he was at. Well, actually, if I pull out another car, I don't even know if it's going to be the end of the video. But uh, I'll show y'all where he got stuck at, man. It was hilarious, man. He was, it was winter, too. So he, I was like, why would you go all the way down into a ditch? Oh, well, they shoved it out. Of, they uh, made a pathway. It's like, yeah, they made a pathway for, for uh, you know, uh, vehicles and, uh, and uh, you know, like, you know, I don't even know how to say it. Like, vehicles and, uh, and like, Bobcats so they can be able to get down there. Like, if they're equipped for that. Outback is not equipped for a, a, a damn uh winter storm in a steep ditch like i don't know well, what made you think to do that man that was hilarious though but anyways man let's move on to the next one that's it for today folks so i'm all done those are the cars that i'm gonna get the ones that say i'm gonna put on the list um but it's time to get going man i appreciate y'all like always for tuning in um and like i said before man if you haven't already like follow subscribe share hit the notification bell and then follow me on all the social media uh platforms man but i'm out peace